We are a partner and a friend, but we will not dictate to the Afghan people how to live or how to govern their own complex society. We are not nation-building again. We are killing terrorists. Last night, President Trump unveiled his much-anticipated strategy on Afghanistan. I do think it's hard to call it a strategy. I think most of us were expecting it to go further. Um, there isn't any more particular clarity, I think, today than there was yesterday. Um, we do have a few key differences which have been highlighted, um, in particular the fact that President Trump has said that there is no deadline to troop withdrawal, which is leading some people to talk about an indefinite war. Uh, we also have an increased operational capacity of the US, um, but really, in essence, it doesn't seem that this will be a significant game changer. I think we've been hoping for an actual you know, broader regional strategy uh, encompassing not only Afghanistan, but obviously Pakistan, India, China, Saudi Arabia. Um, and instead, we've had indications of um, that approach, you know, a need to have India's further engagement, particularly in economic support, um, but also a new hardened stance towards Pakistan. We can no longer be silent about Pakistan's safe havens for terrorist organizations, the Taliban, and other groups that pose a threat to the region and beyond. On Pakistan, President Trump signaled a new hard, hardline stance uh, towards the country. In particular, he said that the harboring of terrorists, the provision of safe havens for the Taliban in Pakistan, can continue no longer, um, which does signal uh, kind of the, one of the strongest statements we've seen against Pakistan by a US, U.S. president in recent years. I do think this reflects um, the stance we've seen by this new administration in recent months. So we've had the withholding of 50 million in coalition support funds. But also, it doesn't take into account that Pakistan is not the only country in the region uh, in which the Taliban is known to exist. There is an office in Doha, um, and there's also a grouping or an office in Mashhad in Iran. So really, for a, you know, a regional solution, all regional countries will need to be involved, not just Pakistan.